Coming out of the week of the 2021 snowstorms, I have loved reading and watching the stories of friends helping friends, family helping family, and strangers helping strangers. One friend is under the weather and stuck home during this storm. She started a Facebook post asking others to post of where they were helping during the week with something or where they had been helped. She started the post by saying another friend had called, grocery shopped, and delivered lunch to her and her husband. Another friend cleared a path to their door for the postman and the grocery deliveries by that first friend. I was able to add that my brother-in-law had cleared my mother-in-law's driveway so that her caregiver could get to the house. I love that post. It was so fun to read about all the good that happened during that storm. My kids and I used to share God sightings when they were younger. I still love to look for them. Isn't that just like God to show us His glory through His children during a snowstorm? He tells us in Ecclesiastics 4, 9 through 12, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not easily broken. He tells us to take care of one another, to labor together for a good return. I volunteer at our local food pantry, and we have an awesome team of volunteers. Once a month, a food truck comes in for delivery. When I first started at the food pantry, there were a few that came to help unload it. I put the word out that help was needed and was blessed by the community members that just show up for each truck. When we get there and start on the task at hand, I can't believe how quickly we can stock those shelves. It is so much quicker than when there were just two of us waiting on that truck. That This is the case with any task. A lot of times the job goes easier, the time passes quicker, and it doesn't seem so difficult when you are with others during the work. However, I think the most important part of these four verses is verse 12, when he says a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. God should always be your third strand. Gather your two to be better than one, but then make sure you invite God in to be your third and keep him there. He will lead you in your purpose, make sure you're going down the right path, bless the tasks that are in his will and give you strength. I love that verse. I wanna leave you with a God sighting that I found while hiking last summer with Kent and some friends. It is a grapevine that seems very sturdy, but the best part is when I look closely, it is three vines that have grown together, a cord of three strands. I pray this week that you are able to help those in need, whether they are your friends, family, or strangers. But I hope that you always include God as part of the three strands. Have a great week.